Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So we continue with discussion with past paper questions. Okay, so the first thing uh, I want to tell you here is we were doing box plot and we learned how to work out with box plot or the five number summary. Now look at this. Uh, you have to focus on question number 15. Now and then, now and then they give or they ask uh, you to construct a box plot and they will give you a lot of data items and if you go through the um, what you call the stem and leaf method which I showed you in the last video you may not be able to do it uh, very fast because there are, there are two parts here I'm doing only part A right now so when you do question number 15 I'll strongly recommend use a calculator if you don't know how to use a calculator, please um, search for videos related to how to use calculator. Anyway, use a calculator. And in such calculators, if you have this calculator, uh, if you have that original one, then you'll be able to find the quartiles, the minimum value. Minimum value means the least value, highest value, etc., etc., very easily. Okay, so when you're given a lot of data, that is in question number 15. Um, you can find quartiles etc etc using calculator especially in question number 15 you have to work out with the help of calculators okay so what you do is um, I'll tell you the key I have this calculator with me right now so you press on and then take the menu and then six if you look you'll see that bar diagram symbol uh, what you call the icon with bar diagram will come so that is the statistics mode and seven will be normal distribution mode and once you do that it will ask you uh, do you want to choose one variable one variable will be written one variable itself and two variables will be written a linear relation can you see y is equal to a plus bx or something will be written there so remember, in your exam, you need to focus on only two things, one variable or two variables. Anyway, by looking at this question, I can understand there is only one parameter, only one variable. So if you read the question, you'll understand the alternating current breakdown voltage of something, something, something is given below. Or you can go through it. Okay, so basically there is only one variable. So I want you to choose one variable. So once more on menu 6 and choose one variable and you'll be able to see the data uh, like what you call uh, it will be printed like x and the list will come 1 2 3 4 etc etc and you can fill all these data in any order you like but do it very carefully and in examination it's a good habit uh, to put a small uh, tick or as soon as you fill you put tick 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 some so that you do not miss any of the data Even if one data item goes missing uh, you won't get the answers correctly. So be please be aware of it Okay, and once you do that uh, you can fill the data. I'm also doing that here You can press on once you once you fill data there are 48 number of items here 48 48 so you fill all the data carefully and then you can press on and when you press on it will show the data the data table will disappear but it will be in the memory and it will show statistics one variable now I want you to find the option button can you see I'll mark it with red here can you see the option button are you able to see the option button here I'm marking it with red yeah okay press the option button if you want to uh, see the data again you can press uh, like what you call it will display soon it will display like what you call select type one variable calculations and data if you want to see the data again you can press 3 so if you press 3 you'll see the data again and if you want to uh, like what you call do one variable calculation that is exactly what I want you to do so I want you to press this button 2 okay and once you press this button you will get a lot of options now remember you can get more options by using this up and down button if you press the down button you'll see that there are so many so many so many things coming up 
okay so right now I want you to press the down button this one can you see I'm coloring it here yeah press the down button and as soon as you press that you'll be able to see minimum value of X can you see that's the lowest value are you able to see minimum value of X quartile 1 median median is quartile 2 and quartile 3 and again press down button you'll be able to see maximum value of X so here we go we have the five number summary okay please confirm your answer I did it I hope I didn't make a mess I did it very fast right now so I got the lowest value to be 41 uh, if these answers are not correct please comment below so that I can correct them later so the lowest value is 41 quartile 1 I got 51 quartile 2 I got 55 quartile 3 I got 57 and the highest value the maximum value I got 68 now what should you do you draw a line parallel to the x-axis and then mark the numbers what's the smallest number that you see 41 so I'm going to mark like 40 50 60 70 you can choose any scale you like okay the first number is 41 it comes somewhere around here then comes 51 then comes 55 exactly at the middle of 50 and 60 57 see this is a problem if you take uh, big scales over here and finally 68 anyway you'll get a box uh, something similar to this and it's kind of like skewed it's a skewed box you can calculate the interquartile range etc and you can see there's more data here there's more data below the median okay you can explain those things you can come and come and down the features okay and another important thing if you want you can make the box plot parallel to the y-axis that means you can draw a vertical line and mark the same stuff 40 50 uh, 60 70 and this time remember your box will kind of like look like this did you, did you get the point so you can make a box plot parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis in your graph paper okay now the next thing I want to mention in this short video is yeah this problem okay so look at this they are asking you um, find the five number summary and make the box plot okay so they have given the numbers 5 15 blah 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 etc so come on tell me what's the first thing to do you have to arrange the data what's the first thing to do yeah arrange the data never forget arrange the data and here if you want you can do it with a calculator but normally this comes as question number one and they will expect you to do in the classic the, the classical method okay so what you do is you arrange the data in ascending order and then I told you, you have to calculate the index those who watched the last video will remember you, you have to calculate the index uh, and remember quartile one means the 25th percentile so we use the percentile method whenever we have a small collection we don't use the calculator here so we go for 25 by 100 multiplied by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah so you can see the value here and yesterday in that last video the problem I told you when I is an integer when I is an integer I told you our answer will be the average of the ith um, what you call data item and the i plus one th data item so we take those things and divide by two now here look at this i is not an integer it's a decimal in such cases what you do is you take the integer just bigger than this so come on tell me 2.2 uh, 2 is here 3 is here and 2.25 is somewhere here what's a integer bigger than 2.25 3 so basically I took uh, what you call q1 is equal to 8 because it is in the third position okay now for median what should I do median means 50th percentile and that means I had to calculate 25 oh, sorry I had to calculate 50 by 100 into 9 and that gives um, what you call 4 point something you can calculate it 4.5 
so it is not an integer like in the last video it is not an integer it's a decimal and if it is a decimal what you do is you uh, what you call take the integer just bigger than that for because i is equal to 4.5 i'm going to use the integer 5 so see that is why we are taking median as the quantity in the fifth position and that is 10. okay now the next one uh, what do you call we go for the third quartile and i think you can understand so we go for the seventh position okay and you can draw a box plot and now uh, i want to teach you how to calculate the quartiles uh, that is uh, percentile also percentile also it's the same logic because i'm finding the quartiles with the help of percentile method now look at this this is type 2 i told you in the last video type 1 means the data will be uh, like what you call it will be kind of like raw data individual series in type 2 it's the same stuff but it's a little bit more classified like uh, they don't repeat the data they simply say 20 repeats three times 25 repeats four times etc etc now in this scenario what you do is you will form something called cumulative frequency now look at this uh, three students scored 20 marks so i know that uh, and uh, another thing it is already in ascending order so you don't have to put it in an order or anything it is already in order and it will be always given in an order now the fourth student to the seventh student so can you see the fourth student to the seventh student because three plus four is seven scored marks 25 the data will be 20 20 20 and then comes 25 25 25 25 and then comes 30 30 30 30 30 30 and 30 and then 35 35 and then comes 40 40 40 so this is the data look i i converted type uh, 2 into type 1 but this is not a good idea this is not at all a good idea and you will not be able to do this easily in every problem okay so we have to learn to survive uh, in type 2 itself so what we do is we have a trick that is cumulative frequency so cumulative means accumulation adding up so we write 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 7 is 14 and 14 plus 2 is 16 and finally 16 plus 3 is 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 okay 19 items so i go for the index method because remember type 1 type 2 that is individual series and individual series with frequency they're both the same okay so the index is uh, like uh, by the way if you want you can do it with the calculator easily so for quartile one let's say i want quartile one so what i do is i'll do 25 by 100 into 19 and that will be 25 by 100 that will be 4.75 so is it a decimal yeah if it is a decimal you should go for the next integer the integer bigger than 4.75 so I know quartile 1 will be the fifth item. Look at this. Here it is so easy to find the fifth item. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. But now look at the cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency tells me the first three data items are 20. And then I can understand the fourth item, the fourth, the fourth item to the seventh item will be 25 the 8th item to the 14th item will be 30 the 15th to the 16th will be 35 and 17 to 19 will be 40 so look i can find the fifth item because i know fifth item falls between fourth and seventh so my answer is 25 i'll do it once more suppose i want to find percentile um, let's say 40 i want to know how many items are below or which number represents the quantity which will uh, what you call which 40 percent of the things will be below that so if i want to find p40 i should go for the index 
40 by 100 into 19 okay so 40 by 19 40 by 100 times 19 okay I got 7.6 so that means I have to go for the eighth item now it is very easy to understand look first three items seven, uh, first seven items so the eighth item to the 14th item so my answer will be 30 so 30 is the number in such a way that 40 percentage of the data will fall be, uh, below um, what you call 30 I hope you understood how to deal with the quartiles percentiles etc here now the next thing I want to tell you is type 3 remember uh, in type 3 uh, you'll be given class intervals or it is called continuous data the word continuous comes because can you see 30 so the first interval and the second interval are connected by the same number the second interval and the third interval are connected by the same number etc etc and if it is not continuous you have to forcefully make it continuous by adding a correction factor okay anyway here our uh, index method or such methods will not work so we have to go for the method which you learned in class 9 or 10 okay anyway I'll remind you this method so first you write the class intervals the frequency and of course the cumulative frequency here the cumulative frequency is very important and here I am trying to find the median I am trying to find median median means quartile 2 quartile means percentile 50 so I go for the 50 percentage value 50 by 100 into n and that gave me 45 and now look at this from the cumulative frequency I am able to understand the first 15 data items lie between 20 and 30 the 16 to the 31st data item will be between 30 and 40 and the 32nd to the 51st item will be ah 45 falls here and that is how I know that this is the median class do you remember such words maybe you learned four years back this is the median class and the frequency corresponding to the median class and the cumulative frequency because here what happens is uh, you just know that our answer is between 40 and 50 we do not know the exact answer so what we do is we choose the lower bound and then we uh, what you call find a quantity which will fix the error and we will be very near to the median value okay so here we go this is the formula so the median class is 40 to 50 frequency frequency just above the median class and the lower bound sorry for the spelling mistake it's a lower bound b o u n d the boundary okay and the height height means the width of the interval and you plug it and we get the median similarly suppose you are planning to find um, what you call if you are planning to find what you call quartile 3 or quartile 1 all you have to do is instead of searching for n by 2 right now we did n by 2 right we found n by 2 so suppose you want quartile 1 all you have to do is you have to find 25 by 100 that will be one fourth and then you will find the quartile class the frequency the same formula the same formula the only difference will be this n by 2 will be replaced with the corresponding percentile for example suppose you want percentile 40 so instead of n by 2 you should write 40 by 100 into n suppose you want percentile 79 then you'd write 79 by 100 into n okay that's it that's a small video so i'll be back very soon with the next video so we'll be discussing about mean and stuff mean standard deviation and all those things in the next video so till then bye